Hi guys, it's Rach and today I am filming yet another haul for you. Of course, at the time I decided to sit down and film, the guy across the road has decided to mow his front lawn. So I apologies if you can hear somebody mowing their lawn. That's what I'm looking at right now, just somebody going back and forth with a lawnmower. But anyway, we're going to progress because I only have a limited amount of time and I want to be able to film this haul for you guys. I did an order from sasa.com, which I believe is a Asian company. I don't know if it's Chinese or Japanese. Um, I should have probably done my research a little bit better. Oh, it looks like it says Hong Kong. So there we go. So to start off this haul, I am going to show you guys, I guess, some of my Asian makeup products. The first one that I have here is this Dolly Wick Liquid Eyeliner. I've wanted to try this for quite a while and just haven't gotten around to giving it a go. But I'm glad that I'm getting to try it now because so far I'm really enjoying it. It has a pen type applicator, a really thin tip brush very very flexible kind of similar to Maybelline's Master Precise if you like that then I think you'll like this one for some reason I feel like this gives a little bit more control over the Maybelline one it's very very black and I absolutely love this I wish we could get this in stores here because I can definitely see me picking this one up again another product that I picked up was from the brand heroin make I think I can't really read pretty much anything on the packaging other than it is the volume and curl mascara and this is in the black color really really cute packaging again so fun the mascara itself I decided to just try out on a whim and I am actually again this was a happy accident because I used it on my eyelash today and so far I really really like it like I said it's a volume and curl mascara the brush reminds me a little bit of the uh, Lancome Hypno, Hypno Star brush and it seems to give me volume, it seems to give me definition, you can build up the product. Like I said, I'll zoom in so you guys can see what it looks like on my eyelashes but this so far, at least from one use, really really liking that. The main reason that I placed the order from Sasa was to pick up this. This is the 500ml bottle of Bioderma. This is the Sensibo H2O, which is the same as like the Kralin H2O. I have the baby bottles of this and I've also had the, I think it's the 200ml bottle of this. But you can get the big 500ml bottle for, I think it's around $30.00. I will put all the prices in the description box below, but it's definitely cheaper than picking it up here in Australia. So I decided to get the big bottle and stock up. I picked up another product from the, I think it's the Nukes. Nukes, I, I'm not quite sure, it's the N-U-X-E brand, it's a French brand. I picked up their oil, their multi-purpose dry oil from Priceline recently and I'd seen this product mentioned, this is like their honey care lip balm on multiple blogs. I saw it on the website, decided to pick it up. It is a really, really hydrating lip balm. It's very, very creamy. It, it kind of is, it has a different texture to what a lot of my other kind of pot lip balms are. It has kind of a lem sip scent to me. It's definitely got honey mixed with a little bit of lemon mixed with flour. And if you guys have any idea what I'm talking about, then I, I love you because if you smell this, you'll go, yeah, I know what she's talking about. It kind of has lemon mixed with honey mixed with some kind of floral herb something or other. It's not offensive in any way. I actually quite like it. If you like lemon honey scents, then I think you'll like this. What it does do is really, really hydrate your lips. It's very moisturizing. It seems to repair your lips as well. It says that it's for dry or chapped lips. If you suffer from those kind of things, I think that this would be worth checking out. As part of my new skincare regime, I've been getting into using cleansing oils to remove my makeup, particularly in summer where I wear a lot of sunscreen-based makeup. And I find that just normal makeup remover doesn't quite really get rid of that sunscreen. And if sunscreen builds up on your skin, then that's when it starts to block your pores and things like that. I've been trying the Shu Uemura one. I've also tried the Dermalogica one. But I want to give this one a go. This is from the brand, I don't know if it's Fancil or Fankul. Not quite sure how to pronounce that. It seems to be, again, an Asian brand. It has uh, Japanese characters on the back of it, so I'm going to guess that it may be Japanese. Somebody will correct me, I'm sure. This is what the product looks like here. Again, it's just a mild cleansing oil, so basically what you would do is you apply it to your face dry with your makeup on, sort of really massage it into your skin, and then you can use water to rinse it off. I haven't had a chance to try it yet, but I have heard good things, so I'm looking forward to giving this one a go. Another product that I didn't expect to buy on this website, but saw it and decided that I was going to bite the bullet and give it a go, this is a quarterly limited edition gift set. 
In it, you got three products. You get the Beauty Elixir, the Cleansing Water, and the Lip Conditioner. I've wanted to try the Beauty Elixir for quite a while, and I've just never gotten around to picking it up. I've seen it on different websites. It is expensive, and um, it, that, I guess that's what kind of stopped me from buying it. But I saw this pack. It seemed like quite good value, so I thought, you know what? I'm going to give it a go. You do get the 100ml Beauty Elixir, which is a smoothing for a smoothing, glowing complexion. You also get here a 50ml bottle of their cleansing water, which I think would be similar to like a, a Bioderma or something like that. It says morning and evening, use on a cotton pad, no need to rinse. And then the third thing that you also got was this lip conditioner. This smells really, really nice. It's just like a lip balm. I saw reviews on this on Makeup Alley and it said it was quite a well-loved product. So I thought that this was a nice little set. Really looking forward to using these. So far, I've only used the lip conditioner, which felt really nice on my lips, and the Beauty Elixir, which again, I really, really um, enjoyed. I kind of used that after I've cleansed my skin, after I've applied my... Um, Alpha H Liquid Gold, I will then spritz my face with a little bit of this and then follow up with my current serums and so far I'm really enjoying that. To round out this haul, I got a couple of weird and wonderful products that you can find on websites like Sasa that you can't really find here in Australia unless you go to a Asian grocery store or somewhere like Daiso or places like that. The first one is this here. Now this I believe is like a rubber cleanser that you're supposed to use to try and remove blackheads. I'm going to open it up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I believe I saw something like this a few years ago in somebody's skincare routine so I wanted to give it a go. It just has like little rubber flexible bristles here and something that you put your finger in and you're supposed to like rub it over your skin. Haven't had a chance to try it yet but I was really really intrigued so I want to give it a go and then I'll definitely report back to you guys because I don't know how this is going to go, but I, I really want to try it. The other thing that I picked up is one of these face epi rollers, which I believe is like to use to remove like hair on your face. You can use it on your face or on your lip. Again, just a random product that I thought would be kind of cool to try. I believe like the little hairs get caught in the springs and then it um, comes out. I'm not going to demonstrate this on camera because I may cry like a little girl, but I'm going to give that a go as well and I'll see what it's like. And then of course, last but not least, they throw in some freebies. So I have a sasa.com little nail file here. I also have a sample of the Susi. I don't believe I'm pronouncing that right, but uh, this is a Giga White Radiant Night Cream. I also got here a couple of these Love earphone jack mascots cute little bunnies again branded sasa.com unfortunately however i really like these things but with the new phones the little headphone jack is on the bottom so if i plugged these in the little bunnies would be sitting upside down but again really cute if you have like a top headphone jack i don't know just kind of cute little gifts like this are really fun not necessarily practical but just really show that the company cares about you and your order and your business yeah okay so that was a lot of stuff. That is everything that I picked up off sasa.com. If you have used the website before, definitely let me know any products that you found, particularly any kind of like random brands that you've never heard of before but picked up on there and thought they were awesome because I'm definitely into trying to expand my makeup horizons and try different brands from different countries and things like that. So I would love to hear any gems that you found on the website. If you'd like to hear more about any of the products that I've mentioned, definitely let me know in the comments below also and I will try and do that for you. And other than that, I'm going to go. I will see you guys all in my next video coming at you very very soon bye